Good morning. Welcome to the morning forecast discussion for Friday, November 4th, 2011. It is Friday and thankfully the week is over and it is ending on a very nice note. A little bit breezy, but nice. Currently right now we have temperatures in the lower 40s over the interior and mid to upper 40s along the coast. We have a few areas of lower 40s sprinkled in and out of the region. But for the most part, we're dealing with relatively tranquil weather conditions. Now, we do have some cloud cover over the Baltimore metropolitan area that is pushing into the southern portions of the Philadelphia metropolitan area. But for the most part, we're not really dealing with any precipitation. We do have a cold front moving through, though. When we take a look at the latest surface features, you see the cold front moving through, and then we have an area of low pressure to the south over the southern mid-Atlantic and southeast, and you can see high pressure starting to build in. Now, notice this pressure gradient here. This pressure gradient is going to produce some rather breezy weather conditions for this afternoon, looking at winds anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour with a little bit of a higher gust, so your high temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s, will feel more like the lower to mid 40s. The good news is that this wind will not last all that long and by later this evening we will have tranquil weather conditions with winds reducing back down to 5 to 15 miles per hour. So look for winds to increase this afternoon anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour continuing on to the early evening and later on in the evening decreasing back down to 5 to 15 miles per hour. You can see on the radar, you can see the rainfall over Virginia and North Carolina that will move due east, not northeast, due east, and off of the east coast, away from the northern Atlantic. You can see some of the residue from this cold front. There's not really any showers developing here at all. It's just a, a moisture boundary basically being picked up by the radar data. But for the most part, you can see... You know, clear skies. I mean, look out your window. Clear skies. So clearly we're not really dealing with much in the way of precipitation here. Just pretty much some cloud cover, a little bit of a moisture boundary that will drop to the south. And then excellent weather conditions for this weekend. Again, going to the infrared satellite picture, you can see our cold front exiting. You can see the dry air starting to build south and east towards the uh, mid-Atlantic coast. This low pressure system moves due east out into the Atlantic, does not impact us, and high pressure will be in control throughout this weekend and into early next week. So let's take a look at the model guides. This is the GFS model guides from the Penn State EWOL website. Now I could have used the European model guides, pretty much they're all saying the same thing, which is nice as a forecaster because it makes the forecast very easy. So high pressure again builds in, a little bit of breezy conditions for this afternoon and early evening. The high pressure system will take full control by tonight and remain in control through this weekend. Now this is 700 millibars down here, this panel. When you see all this orange in place, that means very dry air. And that means skies are going to be clear. There will be no threat whatsoever for any type of rainfall or even cloud cover uh, for tomorrow. So. Saturday is going to be absolutely beautiful. Same thing as well with Sunday. With an upper level ridge and a surface ridge over the northern Atlantic, there will be no threat for precipitation whatsoever. Excellent weather conditions in place. And then high pressure will remain controlled into early next week. Now the big difference for early next week is this, is the temperatures. For this weekend, temperatures are going to be a little bit below normal. Lows in the upper 20s to mid 30s. Highs in the... Uh, mid, uh, should I say, uh, upper 40s to mid 50s. It's going to be a little chilly because we're going to have a new polar air mass in place. However, by the by next week, that high pressure system will be off of the east coast and we're going to get more of a southerly wind and that's going to have temperatures moderate rather nicely back into the upper 50s to mid 60s for highs for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Now by Thursday, it's going to be our next chance for rain. We have a strong cold front that's going to be moving through at multiple areas of low pressure. Very strong upper level disturbance expected to move towards the east coast and start to develop our new stormy pattern for the end of this upcoming month. But as this cold front moves through, we're going to look for periods of moderate to heavy rain. Wouldn't be surprised if we have an elevated thunderstorm or two as well with this cold front. But mostly it's going to be a heavy rain event that's going to blow through on Thursday. And then much cooler temperatures return to the northern Atlantic by the end of next week. 
That is your morning forecast discussion for Friday. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend. And as always, you can trust on the latest weather data from nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. Have an excellent day.